what's going on with you people so shout out to all the the fathers the mothers stepfathers stepmothers um the grandmothers the granddads you know adoption dads and adoption moms as well shout out to them most of all so while you're still breathing and you got this opportunity while I'm speaking to y'all right now from January to December, from Sunday through Saturday, from 12 a.m. to 1159 p.m. Go and see them. Go see your parents. Go spend time with them. You know, fellowship with them. Tell them how much you love them. Tell them how much you care about them. You think about them and pray with them. You know, do like, you know, spend time together. And, you know, talk about stuff. Because, um, I hate to say it. I mean, it happens to a lot of people too. Like, if you don't do these things and when the Lord calls them to go home, it'd be too late. It'd be too late. If you got all the time to do everything else, we got all the time to spend time with the moms and the dads. You know, at least call them on the phone. Check on to see how they're doing. Tell them that you love them. But it's better just to go to them face to face. You can hug them. You know, your your heart touches their heart. Even if you got grudges or hatreds or things happened in the past with y'all, I know it's easy said than done. Just push all that to the side and then go and visit them and tell them. You know how much you love them, even though they, you know, they didn't want to speak to him. Ain't got nothing to do with you. At least you, you know, you're a better character, and you took a stand on that, and you did what you're supposed to do. But if you don't take this opportunity and take advantage of advantage of it, and don't go see them or spend time with them, and when the Lord do call them, call them to go home with them. Even though you ain't seen them for five years, 10 years, 20 years, seven years, three years. And when the Lord do call, call, you know, when the Lord do come and take them home with them. Guess what? That's a huge scar to your heart. It will eat your conscience up alive. It's, it's, it's hard to get rid of them thoughts. It does something to you emotionally time to time. And majority, you will regret it. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, you're to blame for it. Because you had the opportunity for it. Like I told this person, I was like, well, call this um person. You know, they want to say how you're doing. You know, they got attitude. And it was like, why, why, did, why they can't call me? They got my number. Why they can't call me? And be like, he wants to talk to you. Man, just call him. You ain't didn't mean to mess. You ain't supposed to. You ain't supposed to speak for him. Let him call me. I like, dude. And they think I have any time right now. You talking all with that pride in you? Cause you know, if the Lord call and take him home, that house, that house is that is on the sand. It's going to fall because of what you're saying. I ain't want to hear all that. He's supposed to call me, all because you're holding grudges. But now, since he went home with the Lord, now he calls me and talks me for like an hour and I let him talk because the conscience got the best of him. Not only he regretted it, it got to him emotionally. That's a huge scar in his heart and he's eating his conscience alive. All because he didn't do what he's supposed to do. And it is like on top of that, people you meet in life, you know, you know, you see them with their parents and all, you know, you may get a little attitude or you might snap or you might say in this and that and the third, but like I said, at the end of the day, you can't blame nobody else but yourself because you had the opportunity and you refused it. So it's like now you cover up pretend like, you know, none of this never happened or it didn't exist. But your conscious is reminding you daily like you had that opportunity. All the times you went on your trips or you spending time with the other families and on the phone, talking to your friends or going on different trips or going to certain events or going to this place, that place, 
going to the friend house, all them times you put them to the, all those avenues. You could have put all that time to see them, your, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, your close ones. But, you know, since they're not here no more, now you holding on, you know, holding on to that and you're feeling bad about it. And then every time you have a conversation with somebody on the phone, you bring out the past, what you should have done like five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Because it is it, getting to you. And it's like you express it to like five or 20 or 30 people. And everybody going to tell you the same thing. Well, majority ain't going to say it, but it was, you know, something would be like, you know, you had the opportunity. It's your fault. So when you get this message, as I'm speaking to you right now, please take advantage of this opportunity and go visit them. Even I mean, it's okay to call them time to time, but go to them, visit to them, see them face to face, you know, flesh to flesh, blood to blood. Talk to them, you know, make sure to see how they're doing. Don't ask them for no money or the maximum you could, if they could do this and that for them. Go talk to them. Had a conversation with them. Listen to what they what they got to say from their heart. Take them out to eat. Take them shopping. Take, take them shopping. Buy the new shoes or, you know, go to an event. Go to church, matter of fact. Put on your Sunday's best. Go to church. Talk about scriptures. Talk about Jesus Christ. What he done in your life. Share your testimonies to him. Pray with him. Go to the park, exercise, or go to the gym, or, or do a video together. You know, at least you get to spend time with them. Like, time is more precious than money. Like, even if you got to call up for work to spend time with them, do that. I know my precious prophet. He always say, "You can miss, you can miss work, but don't miss church." If you call out from work, don't call out for church, but call out from work and go visit your parents. Go visit your mom and dad. Surprise them. Send them flowers. Say, Dad, hey, let's go hang out. Let's go out to eat. Let's go to Waffle House. Not Waffle House. Let's go to uh, Cracker Barrel. Or let's go to uh, Red Lobsters. Or some... Um, Go to a nice fancy restaurant like IHOP. Somebody said hyper, hyper, <laughs> hyper. No, it's IHOP. <laughs> hyper. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, spend time with them while you're still breathing and your heart's still beating. Go visit them before it's too late. And I pray that everybody go visit their parents. Even though you got some grudge to hate, at least go to them, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Even though they want to listen, at least you've done your part. The stuff you see in movies about, you know, about the grudge and all, and why the son and daughter don't talk. Don't 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 believe all that. That's just fantasy stuff. In reality, it's different. So again, go visit them. Why you can Why you still breathing And while they still breathing Go visit them Surprise them Tell them how much you love them And just always say You know I think I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful What you done for me How you take care of me How you teach me Not just only by saying And just go out Take them shopping Buy, buy them stuff Make them look more nicer than you Like mom I appreciate what you're doing Dad I appreciate everything What you're doing Something you know, if they need help to pay some bill, you know, pay some stuff, help them pay it. If they need help uh, to pay the taxes on it and they don't have the money, pay it because there's a situation like it was some stuff you had to need to be paid and they paid for you. Spend time with them, shake their hands, hug them, tell them how much you love them, take them out to eat, take them out to eat, whatever they got to pay, you know, help them pay it. Don't ask for nothing, but don't ask nothing in return. Like you took care of me, never let me take care of you. 
go to church fellowship you know see son son and you know son father and son or mother and daughter spend time together fellowship smiling laughing eating together dressing together to everybody hey that's my son hey that's my mom but that's my dad that's my daughter you know some of us don't have the opportunity you know parents passed away you can't call nobody can't talk to nobody ain't got nobody to talk to ain't got nobody to go to so you have the opportunity please take advantage of it and go to them at this very moment you speak because if you don't you're going to have big scar in your heart. You're going to eat your conscience of lie. It's, it's hard to get rid of them thoughts. It gets to you. It, it do something to your emotions time to time. Most of all, you will regret it.